Hey there viewers and welcome back to the South Main Auto Channel. Today we're going to talk about tire plugging. Uh, I did a video a long time ago about patching a tire and it's always my habit here to break down a tire and patch it and I have my own reasons as to why I do that. The biggest one is because you don't know the condition of the inside of the tire regardless of what the tire looks like on the outside. The inside of the tire can be completely chowdered and I think by shoving a plug in it, you know, sending the customer down the road, you're doing them a disservice because the tire could actually be dangerous. I want to show you an example here. I've got, I think, what's going to be the perfect candidate, and I'll show you what I mean. So I've got this brand spanking new Bridgestone Blizzax uh, right here off a customer's car. It's got a, uh, looks like a screw, some kind of Torx pit screw or something in it. It's leaking around. It came in to have, you know, a plug shoved in. We shove a plug in my tire. My answer to that question right away is no. You know, I won't. I don't plug tires. We'll patch them. And you can look at this tire and you can look at the outside of it. I'll get you guys a closer look so the haters can't hate. So we'll have a look here at the, the outside sidewall and you can see there's no, you know, no distortion, no evidence of this tire having been run, you know, run flat. Let me wipe it off for you. You know, everything looks hunky-dory, looks beautiful. There's no obvious bulges or anything in the, in the tread. She literally just had these tires put on. And same thing, you know, on the inside. Let me just set this down carefully. Same thing on the inside. You know, the sidewall is in great shape. A lot of times when a tire's run flat, it, it leaves some pretty distinct telltale marks. You'll see, uh, you know, like here in the sidewall, you'll, <coughs> excuse me, you'll see where it's, it's just chowdered right off. There'll be a, you know, a ring all the way around a tire where the thing got driven flat. So technically, I guess if this came into your shop or in theory it came in, you've seen a nail in it, you go out in the parking lot, you shove a plug in it, send the lady on her way. And uh, I want to show you how that can be dangerous. look inside this tire and what do you see I call it black death I don't know if it's the official name but this is what happens when you run your tire low on air the sidewall of the tire starts to deteriorate and it and it can't be seen in some cases as you can see on the outside of the tire of course this one's all muddy and stuff but you can see the outside of the tire does not look compromised whatsoever but when we look on the inside the whole tire is starting to come apart. It's all chowdered up. Now, if you had just taken and shoved a plug in this thing, sent the lady down a road, good possibility she could have a blowout. We'll get the tire down here on the floor. I'll show you. Sometimes you can actually see it. So you see them little sawtooth type marks here on the sidewall, right through here. This is this is where the tire has been compromised, and that's where that rubber comes from. So when a tire is run flat and it's pushed down, all that heat and friction starts to actually break this tire down. Hopefully you guys can see that. Like I said, there's the little sawtooth looking marks here on the side of the tire. And that's what it does. And there's our screw sticking through there. So like I say, the screw's definitely in a repairable spot. Uh, and this is the main reason. Here, let me get a light. I think we can actually see that pretty well. The main reason I will not plug a tire. So you guys can see that on the sidewall. You see how that's all chewed up right there? So that really compromises the tire. You can see it right there also. So we'll look at that on the outside, I'll show you. Let's see, so there's that spot right there. Hold my finger on it, whoa, it's right there. And we can see, so that spot, it's all chowdered up on the out inside. You come out here and you can't, you can't tell the difference. You know, the outside of this tire looks good. It feels good, it feels stiff, just, just like a new one. But there's no way I wanna put my business on a line for a $5 tire plug. So what's the repair in this case? Well, I think you guys already saw it sitting against the balancer. It is a brand new tire, and there's really nothing you can do once the tire gets to that, 
level, you know, you have to replace it. There's nothing you can do. Don't patch it, don't plug it, throw it in the garbage. It's not worth, you know, having a blowout. This is a steer tire on a, I don't know what it is, 14, 15 Subaru. And uh, it's just not, it's not worth the risk. So I would encourage you, if you do get a hole in your tire, you know, nail something like that, you really should have a patch. Now I know there's gonna be thousands of comments of the haters hating, saying that they've plugged tires their whole life, which very well may be. When I spoke to this lady, she did not think that she drove her tires soft. Uh, young girl, you know, pretty aware, light came on, you know, whatever happened there, pulled over, boom, had the car towed here, and that was it. But fortunately, we took it apart and, uh, you know, prevented, a, you know, mishap, so. That's it, go down, leave all your criticisms down there in the comment box below. And while you're down there, click subscribe, ring the bell and all that stuff. And just remember viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.